Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I've got a vegetable haul and after this one following I'll have my husband do a meat haul. We just went out to um, into our local area this morning and found some um, cheaper meat and cheaper fresh fruit and vegetables so I'll just show you what I got. Okay, so starting with the bananas, I got some um, very overripe bananas here. They were only 99 cents a kilo. So after this video, I'm just going to freeze them and and use them as for banana cakes or use them for smoothies. I also got some of these bananas and they were just $2 a kilo. So I've stocked up on that as well. I've got a heap of avocados here. These were only um, 69 cents each this week. And I also got one of these ones, which was a dollar each. I got some tangelos. They were a beautiful color and they were only a dollar a kilo. So I've bought three there. I bought some carrots and they were about a dollar fifty a kilo. My husband didn't keep the docket, so I'm just um, remembering um, at the prices. And I got five kilos of washed potatoes, and that means no peeling. And five kilos for five dollars. So I thought that was a pretty good buy. I got some shallots. I bought this from the place I got the meat, and they were two dollars for a bunch. And the celery, this was really cheap. I got a huge bunch of celery for a dollar fifty. So there's a, there's nearly like two big bunches in there. And I really like these. I haven't seen these around in such a long time. These are garlic shoots. They're really yummy. If you haven't tried them, you should try and see if you can get some. But they're um you can just use one and put them in like scrambled eggs or in stir fry. And you do get a lot. I'm not sure the price of these. They probably were about $2 a bunch. This was reduced to a dollar. It's just the English spinach. And I'll just cook that up tonight. There's 500 grams of garlic there for $3.70. Only $3 for a bunch. Zucchinis were $3 a kilo. And we've got heaps of strawberries here. Um, the fruit shop where I shop, they sell 500 grams of strawberries. Last week they were about a dollar fifty, I think. This week they're only still oh they're two dollars for five hundred grams, which is still a really good price. So all up, I've got a kilo and a half of strawberries for six dollars. So I'll freeze them as well, and the kids can eat them over the holidays. So this haul was about forty-two dollars for all the veg for all these vegetables. They should last a while. I'll go and put these away, and my husband will do the meat haul. Hello everyone, um, look we've decided to try and save some money and do a bit of a bulk meat haul and we're going to downsize a lot of this, um, cut it up, put it in meal portions. So I've got to start over here, we've got actually these chickens were $5.99 for two. So we end up getting two of those, we'll obviously downsize that chicken each meal. We bought two packs of this bacon, the bacon itself was only $4.99 a kilo, so awesome value. Uh, we've got some sausages, just normal little barbecue sausage, sausages. They were uh, four dollars ninety nine a kilo, um, so good value there. Uh, this um, four star bulk uh, mince was nine dollars ninety nine a kilo. So we got uh, what? How much did we get? We got yeah four kilos of it. So I've, I bought a whole rump. Um, I'll need to slice that down, but that was nine dollars ninety nine a kilo as well. So that's probably gonna last us for at least six weeks uh, of, of steaks. Uh, we've got this pork uh, roast leg boneless. So I'm gonna cut that in half. We'll have two roasts out of it. We've also got these uh, chicken breasts, which uh, you know for $8.99 a kilo, great value. We'll obviously portion that down and probably get you know six or seven meals out of that. Um, also some tropical blend. So we're gonna try those. Um, we also got some, some cream, which is $2.00. Uh, $2.85, which is actually good value. When you're uh, when you're going shopping, you always pick up extras you don't normally want to grab, but well, let's let's that's a lie. These are only $2.40 each, and obviously when you're at the checkout, that's where they put them, so you grab a few of those. A uh, couple, couple of uh, Smith's thinly cut chips, and a, a pack of Super Duper's for the boys. So all of that was roughly about $190. I'll, I'm just gonna go and downsize all this now and put it into uh, bags to freeze. And then, yeah, I'll show you how, how it looks once I've downsized it all. Um, I've downsized the chicken breast. So we've got one, two, three, four, five meals there. We're not going to freeze all of it. We'll probably keep a couple of them to do uh, some meals. And with the chickens, we'll probably freeze one, 
keep one and cook both those chickens and have one for a night and one for a uh, for the next day. Okay, so I've just downsized the uh, two uh, lots of bacon, which are a kilo each. They've gone down into six bags, but we'll probably get, you know, two two mornings out of each bag. So probably 12 breakfasts. Uh, and we always love our Sunday bacon and eggs. All right, so we've just downsized all that mint. So it was four kilos. We put it down to 500 gram lots. Um, but we'll get a couple of nights out of each bag, generally, uh, with the, you know, the sausages, probably a couple of nights there as well. And those, those roasts are quite large, so we might get one or two nights uh, out of each of those. So that's the, uh, the rump, the whole rump that's been downsized. We've got two good size um, roasts that I'm going to cook out of that. That will probably do us for at least two nights each. Then we've got some single steaks to have and then probably uh, you know, some, some for the whole family. So for $60, um, at $9.90 a kilo, it works out fantastic value to just do a little bit of cutting up, um, yeah, rather than normally, what, 20 to, to $30 a kilo for rump. So if you can get a whole rump um, for $10 per kilo, it's well worth the time and effort to, to slice it down. Yes, it's not always pretty, but it, it yeah, it's gonna taste the same. Well, that is the bulk meat haul that we've done. Um, look, we're gonna obviously do things like stews and curries and chilies and concans with all these sorts of meats. And we're really gonna span it out for hopefully more than two months worth of meat. Um, maybe, yeah, we might even get more of it out of it. So, so thank you for your time. I hope you enjoy that and uh, see you next time.